So, what did you get in physics? I got grade 9. How did you get a grade 9? I don't know. It sort yeah. of just happened. <laughs> it just happened. Um, I honestly really was not expecting to get anything higher than... If I got an 8, I was going to be really happy. Yeah. How did I get one? Oh, I, I think I just... I'm like, that sounds a bit cliche, but I think I worked hard. Sort of followed the checklist on what you sort of really need to do. Worked on my weaknesses. Sort of brings your marks up, doesn't it? And then it sort of all fell into place, I think. And I was like to say I got a bit lucky. I think the one way you can't get grade nine is if you rely on luck. <laughs> I thought I was, it was going to be quite easy, but it wasn't. It was hard initially, and we sort of weren't spoon-fed. We were sort of had to sort of work it out ourselves as well. You were a good teacher. I think I, I definitely respected you. Like, I think the whole class, out of all of our teachers, yeah, I think you had quite, quite a bit of respect. We were, we were given the, sort of the book a bit, but that book was quite hard. Mm -hmm. So you sort of had to sort of go through it a bit and try and understand it for yourself. And then if you were such, you would help us, but it was more independent than any other sort of lesson. I think it, it's definitely good to do it yourself because you sort of understand it and appreciate it, what's happening a little bit more. And so, sort of, if you read about it in a revision guide, mm. I don't think it'd stick as much unless you did it yourself. Find out what you find hard, work on it, and also ask for help because the teachers are there. And also find help in forms of like books and videos and stuff like that. And if you're still not really getting it, ask the teacher. But you sort of just you can't really bury your head in the sand. You you have to sort of think proactively and think like, what can I do? to make myself be better than it, like better and achieve what I want to achieve and sort of work hard to do that. We started in year 10 with motion. That was hard for me. It was the initial challenge of phys physics. I, d I don't think I respected it that much. I didn't sort of understand it. And then I didn't do too good on my topic test. So I sort of went away. And then after electricity and I think magnets, I sort of decided to appreciate and um, sort of res respect it a bit more and like understand it, understood that if I wanted to do well I had to work hard at it. That sort of helped me because I worked hard to, to start to understand it. And then after all of the content was finished, it all fell into place after the, the first mock. You noticed how it all related to each other and the second mock and then the final exam after going over it again and again, it was all consolidated there and I had all my knowledge to get my, my good grade. Understanding what's happening in the world because I would have never known like what a motor or a generator or how anything worked if I didn't come to physics and I didn't come and learn it. I would, I would be clueless and it's really interesting to know how certain things work and I can look at things in the real world and go, I know how that works and that's because of this and that's because of that. Um, I like to watch videos. I lo watch a lot of trashy entertaining content. but. Um, I also do use it sometimes, and so if I miss a last lesson or physics lesson, sometimes you set up um, videos to watch, and it helps me to understand and go over stuff. Yeah, I did watch that. I just realised. <laughs> 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 I think mostly for trashy entertainment, but at the same time, I did use it in education a little bit. Yeah. I still, I still actually watch some of your videos now. Why, why was results so good? Because I saw it. Little party. We had a cake.